That noise in the background is my kettle boiling water. Hey y'all, and welcome back to My Little Corner of the Internet. My name is Lilith, and for today's video, we're doing a What I Eat in a Day with recipes, so make sure to go down and check that description box because I'll have the full recipes linked down below for lunch and dinner at least. Probably not breakfast, it's just a smoothie bowl. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. I just got back from the gym and I feel like collapsing. Not really, but two leg days in a row. Two different muscle groups, so many squats. Anyways, I'm starving, so let's make some breakfast. Okay, but first, you know I gotta have my lemon water. So. Something felt sticky and I cannot handle that. I mean, I wasn't planning on dropping it in there, but here we are. Why is it only partially full, you ask? Because I top it off with hot water, so it's warm lemon water, because cold water is gross. I don't know why, but this mango is really sour, and I don't like sour, so I'm not going to put the mango on here. I'm probably just going to put the mango in a container with some coconut sugar, and then hopefully it'll be okay to eat at like lunchtime. Okay, this, this is breakfast. I'm so excited for the smoothie bowl because I'm so hungry. And also the actual smoothie is banana and dark sweet cherries, which is my favorite combination. Cheers. I realize these bowls aren't big enough for the salad, so I'm gonna try and transfer them into here nicely and freely. Okay, that kind of worked. 
And I drew it with my boyfriend's though, because his is a lot bigger than mine. Oh yeah, nice, nice. Okay. Still pretty, we can still continue to build it. looks like a lot but it's completely raw so it's quite a lot of food to uh, be enough calories okay so this is a completely raw taco salad I mean besides the blanched cashews we all know we have to do that for safety though and uh, there's his and right now we're re-watching Owl House if you haven't seen it Disney Plus, go watch it. It's so, so cute. And apparently there's new episodes coming out soon or already out. I don't know. They're not on Disney Plus yet, so I'm hoping they will be soon, which is why we're re-watching re it because it's so, so cute. So I'm making watermelon poke bowls for dinner. The first time I had this, I thought, oh my God, that's so weird. Like, why would you have watermelon in place of raw fish? I also never liked fish growing up. So I, I never really ate fish. I never ate poke and... A friend of mine made this at work and it blew my mind so now every summer that's the rice cooker with the instapot <laughs> so now every summer I have to make it because it's so good and it's just so fresh and such a wonderful summer dinner so that's what we're making right now I'm cutting up some cucumbers and some radishes we're gonna have it with some pickled ginger and green onions and avocado. So let's put this bowl together. I uh, didn't show making the watermelon poke because I actually made it yesterday. It has to like soak overnight just to absorb all the flavor and like the texture changes too. It's like really cool and weird and I don't know, but it's so good. But I will leave the recipe linked down below because it's super easy. You just mix together a marinade, throw it, throw in the watermelon, leave that overnight. It's so easy and delicious and so fresh and oh, I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. Okay, let's make dinner. These radishes are from the farmer's market. The watermelon is locally grown. Usually there's watermelon at the farmer's market by now. I'm not sure why there isn't, but they are selling locally grown watermelon at Whole Foods. Looks so good, I'm so excited. Turned out a little bit spicy. Mm. It's like a spicy poke bowl. As I am sitting here editing, it seems I forgot to film an outro, so let's do that. I thought I was gonna end up eating like dessert, like a popsicle or something, because I made these raspberry strawberry popsicles and I didn't end up having anything, so I forgot to film an outro. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description box for recipes. Uh, leave me a comment with your favorite meal from this day. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, Hill.